Hello, welcome back. How you doing? Slater Brothers Cook from a Book, here we are. It's been a while. Been a long while. Putting the band back together. <laughs> <laughs> only, only uh, you're off the side you were. Yeah, I lost a little bit of weight. I uh, put it on. <laughs> he lost it, I put it on. He's next. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> Watch this space. So, look, a little bit different this week. You found this recipe online, right? Pinterest. Got okay. some fantastic recipes. Uh, you sign up, you put it on your pin board, and you keep getting recipes for every every day, really. So what we've got? Um, we've got creamy polenta, red wine with mushrooms. Looks looks good. Looks amazing. Um, ingredients are split here, so because you you start with the creamy polenta, which is four cups of water, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Uh, did I do one and a half? Yeah, I think I did. One and a half teaspoons. Of salt. One cup of cornmeal, which is the polenta, and uh, three tablespoons of butter, which is there. Um, actually, we haven't cut up the butter, but there you go. And then the other side, this is then when you go on to the red wine mushrooms. You've got uh, olive oil, one tablespoon, four to six cloves of garlic. We went for six. You know, garlic's that good, nice, oomphy flavour. Yeah, I like garlic. <laughs> uh, 16 ounces of mushrooms. Um, Sliced teaspoon of, of rosemary dried, which we've got here, but we also noticed looking at the picture, it looks like they got fresh yeah. sprinkled on top. So we're gonna we're gonna add that even though it's not on the recipe. Um, half a cup of red wine, three quarters of a cup vegetable broth, one teaspoon cornstarch, and then just salt and pepper to taste. So we've got everything here. Stage one. Is Stage one, we're going to boil the water, I've added the salt, we're going to bring the water to a boil and then we're going to slowly, slowly whisk and bring in the polenta. You don't want to throw it all in because it can get clumpy. So, and then I'm going to transfer it over to the other cooker yeah. and it's going to simmer for 15 minutes while we do the mushrooms. Oh, I've got you, I've got you. Alright, have you done this before this recipe? No, oh. no, first time. So, just double checking this, this recipe, where it came from. It actually came from a website called Rabbit and Wolves, and we think it was uh, a recipe done by Lauren Hartman. We're not sure, it's hard to work it out because they put it as author rather than uh, chef or, you know, cook or whatever. But yeah, it was on a website, yep. Rabbit, Rabbit and Wolves. Okay, we're getting there with the water, boiled up. I like polenta, I like um, polenta fries. You oh, know, yeah, when, they're, nice. when they're cooked up in fries, really nice. Nice alternative polenta fries, really good, you know, rather than just having chips or... I like carrot fries. Carrot fries? I carrot, oh, that. awesome. Do them, in the, do them in the oven. Carrot fries? Carrot and sweet potato fries. I've had sweet potato, I would have to do that. Okay, there's another little recipe coming soon. Carrot and sweet potato fries, those sweet potato fries. Yeah, no, but you do them yeah. in the oven, so they're really healthy. Little bit of coconut uh, oil, cut the carrots up to sort of chip like, and then put them on a baking tray. Yeah, and then bake them off and sprinkle them with arjuin seeds. Little black seeds, really nice. Sounds lovely. That's a little bit. This is the fresh rosemary I mentioned that we're going to put the end in. Just a little sprinkle, just for decor. We like a bit of decor. <laughs> it's got to look good. If you're going to eat, you want it to look good, you want it to taste good, you know, it helps. In the meantime, we're getting involved with the uh, red wine mushrooms over here. Make the red wine mushrooms. Heat the olive oil. Yeah, I'll put the olive oil in. What is the olive oil? One, one teaspoon. So one tablespoon olive oil. Turn this on. Yeah. That was it. I don't do the technical stuff. <laughs> You're supposed to heat the pan before you put the olive oil in. Always. Oh. Always. Any recipe. Get your pan to temperature, then put your olive oil in because otherwise you risk burning the oil before you start cooking. Oh. Okay, I didn't know that. You've probably told me. He has probably told me before. But... <laughs> 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 it's been a while, we've been away. We did one, pre, you know, when was that? Six or so months ago that we just weren't happy with. 
So we didn't bother putting it up, did we? No. Okay, so what's happening now? The mushroom's gone in. The vegetable stock. Vegetable stock. There. That's going to be thickened with that. So I'm going to what we need to do is we'll pour this in there. And we will just get. Why is that then? You are? Why is that? Is that part of the. Yeah. Just because this is going to thicken it or we'll make another oh, yeah. sauce. Now we're together the veggie broth and corn sauce. It's a little bit further down, but that is what happens, or what they want to happen. It's actually, this, this is actually, says here prep time 10 minutes, cook time 30 minutes. You've got enough room there? Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> just go and stand over there, man. You're big, wearing big. <laughs> Reduce, baby, reduce. Um, yeah, it says here prep time 10 minutes, cook time 30, overall time 40. Doesn't take genius to work those two out. Uh, this serves four people, main course or side dish. So I reckon it's quite a nice look. For me, I don't eat meat. I eat fish, but I don't eat meat. And that looks to me like a pretty healthy, good main course. I would be very, well, I will be very happy to eat this as a main course, you know. I'd have no issue with that, would you? If you got served that as a main course? I'll tell you in five minutes. Yeah. I mean, that looks great. As it looks good. It looks good. Let's picture looks great. Yeah, now this is the test. This is this is part of why we do what we do. Because yeah. we want to see if ours ends up like that after following that. It's getting there. The blender looks good. The mushroom. No, the mushrooms will come together. Right, let's see. But oh okay. So further down the recipe, once the blender is nice and thick, add the vegan butter and stir to melt the vegan butter into the polenta. Taste and adjust seasoning. Remove from heat. <laughs> That's still on the heat. Yeah. You don't mind? No, it's been 15 minutes. As you can tell, John's the better cook. I do cook. I mean, this. we both started cooking because of, funnily enough, got divorced at very similar times. But yeah, so that's how we got into it. And, and we both enjoy food, we've all enjoyed, always enjoyed eating. Yeah, well, a couple of Jewish boys, of course. We're going to love a little nosh. So. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, oh, actually, now they look a lot better. I told you they'd come yeah. together. Okay, we're going in now with some red wine. And we're going to give that a little blast. And we're going in with dried rosemary. Add the rosemary and red wine. Simmer for about five to seven minutes, reducing heat as needed or the mushrooms have absorbed most of the wine. So I'm gonna put a lid on this just to retain the liquid because I want uh, I want a little bit of sauce there, a little bit of gravy. That's such a quick recipe. Actually, that if really this is. tastes nice, this will be an awesome meal for the midweek. Little easy, quick, coming yeah. from the gym. Literally, a few couple of quick cooked. What about you, what have you been up to? New baby. New baby. <laughs> I've really got to buy a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Five kids, man. Five kids. You're never I giving do up work. not know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that happened. <laughs> really smelling nice. With that red wine now, hitting that garlic, that is really smelling good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. I've been wanting to cook this for a few weeks now. That's the polenta ready. Okay. So here's a question, okay, because I stopped drinking. Part of my fitness and weight loss is no drinking. And I always wonder, when there's a recipe that has alcohol in it, you know, and it... No, you're burning off the alcohol. Okay. And so if you didn't, it would be bitter. Right. It would really taste bitter if you didn't burn that alcohol off. So you burn off the alcohol, so it's just flavour that you're, okay. you, you're putting wine in here for. That really does smell good, but you can see, you know, I can still smell the wine. We're going in with this now. We're going to give it a little bit more heat. I'm going to let this thicken now. Won't take long. So, to thicken, it just boil. Yeah, because it's got cornstarch in, so it will just thicken the sauce. Oh, and I see, I see. And you notice like I'm not, not putting the lid back on now. Yeah. Because I want the liquid to reduce a little bit and help it thicken. So, nice, thick polenta. 
It's good. I mean, it looks a bit like mashed potato, but it's healthier than mashed, right? Polenta? I don't know. How much do you want? Uh, just want? serve it up so it looks good. <laughs> Presentation. I'm a head of presentation. What's the essence of polenta? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's my work. <laughs> you need to fill the bowl. That's it. Oh, it gets it in the end. I don't need too much. You see, this is starting to thicken now. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a recipe for four people. That's, this is two healthy portions. There's still loads left in there. So it's definitely a, a nice four people dish. Sorry. So, mushrooms done. Getting... Is that your dishwasher? No, it's the... the oh, the hot. Oh, that does look good. It smells great. Remember, it's four people. I have to say... Yeah. That's... Pretty quick. That was pretty quick. That was quicker than 40 minutes. Well, the prep, and the prep we did. That was quicker than... The it looks minutes. pretty similar. Hold on. Well, you've got a bit... Yeah, it does. You've got a lot of gravy on the go there. You see that? Is that? I don't know if that angle or that is pretty looking pretty good. Just have a taste. Let me have a fork. I think you want a spoon for this. No, more about a fork. How is it? You know what? Mm. That's pretty good. Mm. Oh, it's hot, it's nice. That buttery polenta. With the mushroom, I can taste the wine, but it doesn't. You're right; it's, a, it's not an alcohol flavour. It's a oh, okay. Oh, hot, nice. There you have it. Slater Brothers, back, back here to stay. Cooking. We'll be doing more, much more regular basis. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe. If you want channel. us to come and cook. For you at your house, that's a challenge. Us <laughs> Let us know. What? We're coming with our books. What's happening? What? All right, we're on the road. Let's have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs>